Hi, my name is Mark Siedenschopf. I work as a photographer, artist and director in London. I'm very happy to present Home Alone, uh, a survival guide, which is a book that was created uh, during the lockdown. Um, I thought it was very important to show that even if you're stuck at home, it doesn't really mean you have to be stuck at home. There are still loads of different things you can do um, when you're home alone. So I decided um, to post on social media every day a series of instructions of all kinds of different things you could do um, while you're stuck at home. These instructions were then posted on social media and photographed by myself and my followers uh, and immediately sent back on the same day. Uh, and that resulted in three weeks to over 100 instructions and uh, 1,000 different photos that were created. I thought that was really um, special because um, it was such an incredible collaborative project from so many different people all around the world um, that I thought it, um, it, it just deserved uh, a little bit more than just being on social media. I, I really wanted to turn the whole project um, into um, yeah, a printed survival guide. So I decided to contact my favorite um, art book publisher, Hatje Kanz, uh, and presented the project. And very, very soon after, we decided uh, to turn the whole project uh, into a book. When we received this proposal from Max for this book, we all were very thrilled because it was really at the core of this rise of the pandemic situation in Germany. Of course, our initial thoughts were about this threat because art books need uh, some time to get into the market if we do it with offset printings and designers and artists are very special clients in regards of quality. And so we thought about using uh, the book as an initial moment on the pandemic and to uh, think about digital printing as it would have taken us months uh, to bring this to the public with traditional offset printing. Of course, there are some benefits from digital printing. It's uh, faster and we had a very good partner with Livonia Printing who are used to do t uh, digital publishing uh, in their everyday life. Livonia Print is a print house located in Latvia. Three years ago, we made for ourselves the decision that we have to go into the digital market. The digital market is for our publishers that they can place orders as they like, no matter what kind of product they are ordering and how it needs to look like. Everything what we do in Offset, we do also in digital. In addition to these investments, we also invested in the modern workflow systems because we need to reduce our administrative work to make something like that possible because also small runs need to be cost efficient. With the Canon, we found the right partner in such a project that we can offer such a solution, which supported us with the physical printing machines like the i300, to achieve the highest degree of efficiency and uptime. It gives us the most flexibility on the medias because we have no restrictions at all. So with that, our publishers can order whatever they like on every media they like. And we get possible like this special project to deliver something like that within seven days, which is in the offset world, not possible at all. What were the benefits of digital publishing for us was um, that we're very, we're very uncertain about the quantity of sales in such a moment where bookshops were closed. Um, so there was no estimate possible how many copies should we print. And our intention was to sell as much books as possible in a very short time and to print the amount of books that was needed. So we did a very low first print run, but it was sold out in a fortnight. And this digital publishing benefit was for us was to um, have the possibility to reprint the books in a few days or in a fortnight as well and to deliver it straight to the reader in the moment where this content is needed as a public audience. I, th I think what, what really stood out to me were, was the entire speed of the project, um, especially during the beginning of the pandemic. Things were changing uh, at an insane speed and especially as a creative, uh, you really had to move fast to keep up with the uh, current situation. Um, which was very much also the case for this project. But I was also very happy uh, about the speed during the publishing process, which was usually a very slow and lengthy process. 
Um, but it was very, very great to see how quickly everything moved from start to finish and almost kept up with the speed uh, that we usually see in digital publishing. And I, I really, really enjoyed that. It was also really great to see uh, the overall quality of the book because that was also a very big experiment because, as I mentioned before, the, these were photos by all kinds of different people with all kinds of different cameras. Some had professional cameras, some had iPhones. Um, so it was very varying in quality. But... Um, uh, the overall result looked really great, and I was very happy about that. Um, and uh, yeah, in general, I think this project was a, a really great example to um, how publishing can look in the future, which can actually um, sometimes be a lot more creative and take bigger risks and uh, be a little bit more experimental than uh, what we're sometimes used to.